Ramani Rahim Assalamu Alaikum in this video I'll be solving question number 2 from exercise 12.1 from unit number 12 that is angle in a segment of a circle so that the parallelogram inscribed in a circle will be a rectangle so first we need to draw one circle so that inside it we can draw a parallelogram okay now we'll be drawing one or two three lines uh, and we'll also mark the center of the circle okay let's draw this sides of a circle diagram this a the corners a b c and d okay now we are going to label it as the center o a b c and d so what we have to prove that a b c d is a rectangle now let's write what is the thing which is given to us and what we have to prove. So given is A, B, C, D is a parallelogram since right now we don't know that this parallelogram is a rectangle. So we'll write it as it is that A, B, C, D is a parallelogram inscribed in a circle with center O right okay now with the what are the properties of a parallelogram that opposite sides are equal so this implies that measure a b is equal to measure b c also measure a d is equal to measure b c and also we know that the opposite sides are parallel okay now what we have to prove that this a b c d is a rectangle so A, B, C, D is a rectangle. We'll be doing one construction. In construction, we are going to join the two points. So we'll be writing that join A to C. Join A to C. Let's join the two points. A to C. Okay, we'll be joining it with, let's say, the yellow color. Join A to C. So, if you see, we got two triangles now. Now, let's prove it further with the help of statements and reasons. Statements and reasons. Now, if we prove that the two, uh, that in a rectangle, we know that the uh, you can say the angles are of 90 degree so if we prove that the opposite angles are of 90 degree then we can say this a b c d is a rectangle so how we are going to prove it if you see we got two triangles so in triangle a b c is one triangle and the other triangle is you can say a d c so if we take the correspondence relation of these two triangles and we prove the two triangles as congruent triangles, how we are going to do that? Side AC is equal to side AC. And what is the reason? That this is common. Then AB is equal to DC. And this is because it is given to us and also because opposite side of parallelogram are equal. Also, you can say that BC is equal to the side ad also it is given to us opposite sides of tri uh, opposite sides of rectangle uh, parallelogram are congruent so we can say that triangle abc is now yeah, sorry triangle abc is congruent to triangle adc and the reason is s is postulate if this is so then we can say that angle you can say measure angle b is equal to measure angle d and what is the reason corresponding angles of congruent triangle corresponding angles of congruent triangles okay now there is one thing that we already know about this this is this since this is a cyclic quadrilateral so we can say or you can say this is in, in uh, this uh, diagram is inscribed in a circle and we also know that measure angle b 
plus measure angle D is equal to 180 degree. Why? Because opposite angles of cy cyclic quadrilateral is equal to two right angles. Or you can say the opposite angles are supplementary. So opposite angles are supplementary. Okay. Now, abhi dono 180 degree ke equal hai aur dono equal bhi hai to equal honge. This means that this implies that measure angle P is equal to measure angle D is equal to 90 degree. Okay, dono equal hai. To dono 90 degree honge to dono 180 degree ke equal aenge. Right? So, you can say this is from 1. Ab dono mne prove kar diya ke wo 90 degree ke hai. Or 90 degree ke angles kis me hote hai? Rectangle me. This implies that a, B, C, D is a rectangle. So hence we prove that the parallelogram which is inscribed in a circle is a rectangle. Hence proved. Hope you understand it. Thank you so very much. Allah Hafiz.